What's going on everybody? Spaceballs here. Welcome back to another Skylanders video. Alright everyone, today we're going to talk about the new episode that just came into the game. We just put up the video for the Gold Tower. One thing I want to say about the Gold Tower really quick before we get into this episode. Awesome content that they just added to the game. I really do like the episode content. I know some of you guys are iffy with it, but I really do enjoy it. I think it's an awesome addition to the game. But really quick to touch on the Gold Dungeon, just to address some of the comments from the last video, because you guys know I always read every single one of your comments. In the gold dungeon, endurance can absolutely stack. It's not like PvP content where it can't stack. When you're fighting the gold boss, you can stack endurance. So let's say you have trigger happy. Let me just pull them up here real quick. So let's say you go into the gold dungeon, you have trigger happy on your team, and you use his A2 and he hits the boss seven times. He's going to drain the endurance by seven because he hits seven times. Because in the gold dungeon, it does stack. So he will drain her by seven. Now, the way I'm doing it actually works fine as well because you're only going to be able to get a certain amount of knockdowns on the boss anyways because the turns are limited so much in the gold dungeon. But having something like this is also really good. But you're also looking for a knockdown in the Skylanders kit as well. So Trigger Happy does have one so he's a good example. But now when you're looking at something like Flare Wolf, let's just pull him up here real quick. And he has a 4 Endurance down. Now the way the gold boss works is if she has 4 Endurance left or even 3 Endurance left, and my man Flare Wolf hits her. He's going to hit her for 4 Endurance down. And then he's going to put her immediately in knockdown. So for me, it seems to work better that way on auto. Now if you're manualing, it's probably going to be better to have, you know, stuff like, you know, Shark Shooter, Trigger Happy, Tide Pool. I mean, Tide Pool is good at everything. We know that already. But when you're autoing, it seems like having high Endurance down with a knockdown on that same skill works a little bit better. Because we know auto is crazy sometimes and doesn't work the way we want it to. So what will happen is Trigger Happy will use his A2 and then he won't proc into his A1 which will then knock her down. So sometimes they'll use the mana on his A2 and not the A1 when you need the knockdown instead of the 7 multi-hit. If you're manualing, it's different. You guys already know you can control the field. But on auto, this seems to work better for me. I just want to throw this in here really quick. I don't want to talk about it too much. I'm going to make a second video on the gold dungeon once I finish my team. And then I will do an auto and a manual and we'll compare which one works better but today we're going to get into the episode dungeon here i don't know if it's called episode dungeon or story whatever you want to call it but first let's talk about the episode pass now this episode pass has fantastic value at first we were looking at it we're like wait a minute 30 bucks three times that's insane 90 dollars. but when you actually sit here and add this stuff up it is well worth it especially if you just buy the first one because you are getting a legendary summoning ticket so for $30, you're getting a summoning ticket, 300 gems, a bunch of awakening stones, blue ones, blue splendors, 30 red potions, plus 45 here, and then just more stones and a bunch of gold. So if you look at the current packs in this game, and you look at the $100 pack that has a legendary summon, and then you look at this for 30 bucks, this is way better value than any value I've ever seen in this game. Even going down a list, if you add up all the gems, basically everything in here without the left hand side, it's worth about 200 bucks in my eyes, like breaking down what they value stuff at in this game. And you're basically paying $90 for it. So honestly, the best value I ever seen in Skylanders. So if you're gonna spend money, this is the place you wanna spend it. In my opinion, it is totally up to you guys if you wanna be free to play or pay to win or even spend a little bit of money. I know a lot of you guys will just buy the first one because you are going to get a legendary Skylander out of it. At the end of the day, it's up to you, but I honestly do think this is the best value I've ever seen in Skylanders to date. So just keep that in mind. And if you spend the full 90, you are getting a guaranteed copy of Boom Bloom. And these chests on the left have a chance of dropping a Boom Bloom or a gold material, just like the subscription pack that drops a gold key, a gold awakening stone, or a gold Splenda. This works the same exact way, except you have a chance to pull. An actual boom bloom as well so if you don't have boom bloom this is actually really good for you because you have a chance to like basically max her out even without spending any money just going down the left hand side here if you have really good rng you can actually pull a couple boom blooms and get her up and running so these episodes are going to be a lot of fun and really useful to us free-to-play players because if we're lucky we're going to be able to build these new skylanders that come into the game now, I don't think they're going to do old Skylanders. I think Boom Bloom's going to be the only one that they do from the old Skylanders that are already in the game. I think these episodes are going to be more focused on the new ones that are coming into the game. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's what I've been hearing. 
So that's what we're going to say for this video. Before we actually get into the battle part of things, let's go over the shop. And the shop is here with all of your other shops. We got the episode shop. So on the top here, you can see we got boom, boom, summoning ticket for 100,000 episode tokens. And then we have the four chest on the bottom of it. Now, obviously, if you were like everybody else and you have a max boom, boom from the beginning, you are not going to need to get another boom, boom, summoning ticket. So you are going to be buying these legendary summoning boxes. So let's say you're doing a heroic box. You're going to have a chance to get heroic material, gold, or ether pieces. And the boxes from the actual mission that I've been getting all give me episode coins. So I don't know if this is going to do the same thing. But honestly, if I were to buy these boxes, I would be buying the gold ones. Because again, you're going to get gold materials out of it. So it's definitely worth buying the gold one instead of the other ones. Being that you're going to be spending the coins anyways, why would you want to buy you know, the premium, rare, and heroic when you can simply buy a legendary unless you have some extra tokens left over? Then that would be fine. So really easy shop. It's really up to you whether you want Boom Boom. If you have her, then obviously you're going to be buying the legendary box. And now we have these missions here on the left. And most of you guys are going to be stuck where I am. I think it's really funny how they added Sky Tower. And now they added this new episode stuff where we have to build a bunch of different Skylanders as in premiums, rares, heroics. Because we need so many different Skylanders, you know, to fill our teams in the Sky Tower. Now we need premiums to do the content in this episode dungeon whatever you want to call it. So they're basically pushing us into building all of these Skylanders. But the good thing about this is whatever you built here, you can actually use in your Sky Tower on your third or second team. So that is one good thing about it. But all of us are going to have to build premium Skylanders at this point. We're not going to have a choice. So I am actually working on Snapshot, Wham Shell, Gorilla Drilla, and Tough Luck. Now, everybody on Twitch was telling me that they were clearing one through six with just Gorilla Drilla and Snapshot or Gorilla Drilla and just something else. But I don't know how high you're going to be able to get with just two premium Skylanders. So most of us are probably going to have to build a complete team. Now, if you put six star max runes on them, you might be able to use three. You're really going to have to test it out for yourself. For me, I'm just going to build a team of four, farm it up together, build it together just to get it out of the way. So basically, I'm kind of stuck right now because I can't do any more of my missions because all of my missions are use premium Skylanders except for the bottom one and the top one. Now, I have been clearing these ones daily. And I will clear them, but the problem is I won't be able to finish this until I start building my premium Skylanders. And I feel like all of us are going to have the same problem, especially if you're a free-to-play player. Because us free-to-play players are not building a ton of Skylanders. We're basically sticking to our main team. But it's fun. I honestly really do like this content, and I can't wait for them to add a new Skylander. Right now it is Boom Boom, so I think a lot of people have her built, so they're like, ah, this content's not that good. When it gives you a chance to get a brand new Skylander and not have to deal with that 120 pity banner, I feel like a lot of people are going to like this content because it gives us all a chance to be able to grab these new Skylanders, especially as free-to-play players. So I do think that is a great thing. You kind of have to look at it from both sides of the fence. I just feel like a lot of people have Boom Boom already, so they're kind of like, eh, this content's not that great because I already have her. So why would you want to spend money to get another summoning ticket for her? Trust me, I get it. If I had her back, I'd probably feel the same way. But the story here is actually a lot of fun because they give you a random team. It's not like you could just go in there with your own Skylanders that are maxed out, max skilled. They give you a team and it's not skilled up. It's only level one skills and they just throw you in there and you have to manual it. So you have to kind of use your knowledge to get through these six and seven. They're doable, but they are a little tough. I did fail on seven once, I think, and then I got it the second time. So it is fun. It's not like you just go in here and run through it. And it does give you a chance to use Skylanders that you might not have built already. Because again, we know it's hard to build all these Skylanders. So it's nice to go in there and just play with some new ones or ones that you might not have built. So I did enjoy that part of the content. That was a lot of fun. And again, you will collect more of these episode tokens. And once you're done working on this, or I believe even as you're working on this, you can also work on your sparring pit. And the sparring is down here on the right. Now, this is where you have to clear those missions. So you really want to take notice of those missions before you get into this. So you want to see what missions you have to do in that box that I showed you on the left. Take notice of them and try to do them when you're doing this content here because you only get three entries a day. Now, you can go back after you cleared it once. So after I build my premiums, I can come back in here and I can go back into a battle that I already did. Yes, I won't get the tokens because I already received them, but I can still clear my missions that I haven't cleared already. So even though I'm climbing up the mountain here, I can still go back and finish the missions that I didn't get to finish because I don't have premiums. Now this is limited to three a day. So for me, I just been doing as much as I can, even though I can't do the missions 
that I need to do because I don't have premiums. I'm still trying to use my three attacks every day just to kind of collect as much coins as I can. Now, I don't think this ever resets. I believe it stays here forever. I'm not sure how they plan on actually doing this. Maybe they're going to reset some of these episodes. Maybe they're going to bring in four, take one out. We don't really know yet. So I don't want to say that it's never going to reset, but I don't think it's going to reset anytime soon. So I'm sure you guys have plenty of time, especially when they expect everybody to build all these premiums or have these premiums built already. I'm sure they know that a lot of us don't and we actually have to build them. So now my next mission here, all I have to do is click on one. Then we have our first battle. And then you see on the bottom, now we have three of three. So that means we have three attacks for today. So I can do this three times. So essentially I can come down, clear it, and I can do my missions on the left-hand side. Obviously I can only do the top two for now, but to actually beat this whole thing, I'm gonna have to go back and use my premium units. Eventually I will start building the premiums. I just haven't been in the mood to start yet. So we're gonna click here on the enter. I'll show you guys a battle and then we'll wrap this one up. So again, I'm just using the same team that I always use. So now what I like to do is come in here and look at my missions before I actually go into my sparring pit to see if I can clear any of these. So we have just clear sparring with Boom Boom level seven, which we're gonna do right now, that's easy. And then on the bottom, all we can really do is clear with this poison damage. So these will basically finish themselves, so I don't really have to worry about any of that. So let's do an attack and then we'll wrap this up so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm sure you guys are already doing these attacks as well, so you already know what it looks like. Now, these battles are four stages. As you can see on the top left-hand side here, we got one, two, three, and four. Now, they've been fairly easy for me, but I have a feeling once I finish these three attacks and I get into my next three attacks, it's not going to be so easy. Let me know in the comments, guys, if it gets like really hard to the point where you can't even auto. I have a feeling that's where it's going to get. I don't know for sure because, again, I'm not there yet, but something is telling me that it's going to get to the point where I'm not going to be able to auto anymore and I'm actually going to have to sit here in manual. Right now, we're looking good. We're looking strong. But in the back of my head, something's telling me that like once we get to like the last couple stages, like right before the end, it is going to be really, really tough to finish these. And I'm probably going to have to manual them. Now you guys know I'm Lazy Gamer and I hate manualing stuff, but I will do it just to beat the episode, of course. I feel like everybody that plays this game is going to want to eventually beat this episode, whether you have Boom Boom maxed or not. Just because it's fun content, something different, something fun to do. Same thing with the gold dungeon. And again, I know it's not fixing the gold problem 100%. But it is fun to just have new content, even more content for that matter. Like now, like when you grind adventures, you actually get another ticket to go battle somewhere else, which just makes more content and just makes the game more fun. So it actually gives you a reason to want to grind adventures. And like, I just love when there's different content all over the game. That's one of the main reasons I used to love CCG because CCG just had so many different things going on. They had the world boss, they had the pirate ships, you know, they had all the events like they just had a bunch of different stuff going on and i like that different kind of content where you can kind of just keep yourself occupied and just do different things that's not the same thing over and over again so you're not literally just staring at the screen seeing the same thing a hundred times over so again our team is looking a little low i just noticed our stink bomb is almost out of hp hopefully he'll make it through i think we're gonna be okay but this just brings me back to what i was saying before and i think that i'm gonna have to start manually this stuff instead of ordering it i don't know if we're even going to get through this that is the funny thing we should be okay i think roll brother will be able to pull the win out along with flare wolf and pit boss flare wolf is a destructor as you can see there he puts up a ton of damage so we're okay here but i think after these three battles i am actually going to have to start manually this i think i kind of answered my own question there but still let me know in the comments guys if you're manually or ordering this content i would love to know i'd love to hear your feedback in the comments and you guys know if you write comments, I always answer you guys because I love chatting and talking with you guys. So I think that covers everything. This is really self-explanatory, guys. Like, there's not really much of a guide I can give you here except for what premiums you should build. And again, I am building Wham Shell, Gorilla Drilla, Snapshot, and Tough Luck. Now, you could build Rattlesnake, or if you have Rattlesnake built instead of Tough Luck, that's fine. Like, you can make substitution. You could build Rocky Roll instead of Tough Luck. It's really up to you. Try to make a solid base team. And the reason I'm going with Wham Shell is because he's kind of going to be my defense tank with the Provoke. And then I'm going to have Tough Luck, Snapshot with the Freeze. And I believe he has a Diminish as well. And then we have Tough Luck that also has the Poison and Diminish. So it's just a really well put together team. And that's why I'm going to go with those premiums. Like other than that, there's not really much to talk about here. I think it's great content. It's a lot of fun for me. Let me know if you guys are having fun with this content. 
And again, if you're not, it's probably because you already have Boom Bloom, so it's like kind of turning you off. But I promise you in the future, they're going to be adding new Skylanders. If you have any questions, anything to add on, please let me know in the comments. Let us know in the comments. We're so close to 2.5k subs. Once we reach it, we will start another sub celebration giveaway. Thank you guys so much for the support. Really, we're still growing so fast, and I cannot thank you enough. If you want to follow me on Twitch and Discord, that is linked down below. We do two monthly giveaways on Discord, brand new giveaways on Twitch. If you want to be a part of the exclusive cookie giveaway we have going on, I'll link that video for you right here. As always, I love each and every single one of you. I will see you in the next one. Spaceballs out. Peace.